Hello everyone, today I'm going to assemble this Mainstays, Mainstays Organizer bookcase. Uh, it's a fairly nice little bookcase. Uh, it's 35 inches by 35 inches and it weighs about 44 pounds. So uh, you may want a little bit of help when uh, you're putting that into your car. Uh, I bought it at Walmart. If I can find it on Amazon, I'll put a link there too. Uh, so here's what it looks like with the dimensions. Okay, and uh, the picture down here of what the bookcase actually looks like when it's finished. Uh, big plus on this bookcase is that the shelves are adjustable. In other words, you can raise them or lower them to fit different things in there. So there are pegs there to hold the shelves on, and I'll show you how that functions. Uh, but as you can see, it's a nine uh, nine square uh, book bookshelf or storage shelf or display case whatever you want to use it for uh, I'm going to unbox it and assemble it and um, I'll show you the basics and then fast forward past the tedious parts All right, we have a standard parts kit. All the parts for putting it together. Nails, screws, covers, all that stuff. So we have an empty spot there, but I just drag. Okay, so that's all the parts. Here's the assembly instructions. I'll go through it quickly. There's step one. So you screw the D and E side together to the C's. Uh, of course, the holes, important where you put those holes, how they're set up. It says edge three holes, edge with three holes, it says. So the tops will have three and the bottoms will have two. Looks like. And we go to D, sorry, number two, number three. Uh, it looks like the same thing again here. So 412318, 412318. I don't know why they gave us two. Um, but maybe it's just to show you the parts. Yeah, that's just showing you the parts. Uh, it says not to use a, a uh, cordless drill. Use a screwdriver. Hammer, I don't know. I'm just going to use a wood mallet. Maybe the hammer is useful. I'll use the hammer. Put the nails in on the back, more than likely. So, and there's the four. So I'll go through it. As I go, I'll explain it. Light hammer. Screws look all the same size. Yep, they are. Okay, so we use it. Okay, they say not to use a cordless drill. Uh, I'm going to use mine, but mine has a torque adjustment on the edge which allows you to 
go lightly or go hard if you want to. Okay? So by adjusting this, I can make sure that I don't over torque it. That's probably why they don't want you to use the, the uh, cordless drills. So, if you have one of these, use it. If you don't, use a screwdriver and a Phillips head. Like, sorry, like that. Okay, so we need E and D. There's no label on that. Well, there's my D. Says no. Oh, okay, sorry. It says E on the edge. These are labeled markers C, C. So now we know we've got the right pieces. We'll go from there. So we need D on the top, E on the bottom, L, which is these screws. No problem. And this edge with three holes on the C's. Okay, so we'll put the D on the top. Right here. There we go. Now it also says the unfinished surface of E should be facing down or towards me. So we'll do that. And D does not have an unfinished surface, so it doesn't, that's not relevant. Okay, unfinished surface goes up. This unfinished surface, this unfinished, was down, so I'd have to say it's like this. So we have an unfinished surface on E on this side, and on this side. And that is according to the manual. And unfinished surface on the top as well. So this will be the back of the bookcase. This will be the back of the bookcase. So to recap, unfinished sur surface on that, unfinished surface here, unfinished surface here and it's going to the top same as that next piece is C's so this is a C piece nope it says B so along the edge you'll see the letters this is a U or a V or a C oh wait a sec And these are C's, so let's go. Okay, so the C's have a one, two, three holes. One, two, three holes. You can see them there, one, two, three holes. And the three holes go towards the D part. So we're laying them out that way. Remember, unfinished surface is towards the top. Unfinished surface towards the top. Three holes towards the top. You don't use the third hole, but it's there.
Length is right. And there's the big difference. These are the end pieces. They extend past the bottom. Okay, that's what you need. These are the middle pieces. They don't. holes, edge, edge, edge. The key is that these three holes here match up with these three holes, which I can see on this one do not. If I put them here, they don't match. So you want these three holes to match with the three holes in here. And on this side they do. That's not working. Okay. Just noticed something. The top is slightly longer than the bottom. Here's the reason why. Because this unit screws into the top here, like this. Okay. And you make sure that these three holes and these three holes match up with these three holes, which in my case, they do. So we'll just start screwing it together here. Just like that, again, their surface on the same size as all the rest. Of See how the three holes are all matching. 
Now this is side B. And three holes matching, surface on that side, and three holes on that side. There we go. So it's crucial I use the right plates in the right places, like C, C, and A and B on the right parts. Or places, I should say. Because they're different lengths. flush with the back will make this go into the other side, no problem at all. So next is put the back on, so we'll do that and we'll use for those our little, little nails. Don't know if you can see them right or not, but there's the nails in the bag. Once again, there is a laminated side on this sheet. Make sure you put it the right side because otherwise you'll have that facing out. You want the flat black on the facing back. Not sure if it's going to come out on film or not, but there are, sorry, little holes where every one of these nails will fit. Okay, so just use them as your guide as to where to nail. Put it in all the way. I have not put that nail all the way in because I want to put at least three in to guide me nice and straight. Okay, I put them into every hole in the sheet, and as you can see, I got a couple left over, but that's okay. They usually just give you some extras anyways. So, use them if you want. Don't use them if you don't want. I'm not going to use them. I don't need them. So, there's the backing plate on. Next, 
we got the feet on and uh, they come in like that. We have four little posts. Those are the feet. And they got little nails on them, so they just hammer on. There we go again. Here's the whole back. Now the front. Okay, next you have a bunch of little studs. I'll show you them. And you put a little rubber uh, cover on the end of each one. And that the shelf will actually make contact with that part. And the other part will go into the wood on this side. Okay, and there's two per side per shelf. Okay, there's the shelf pegs. Okay, last thing left is uh, these little, I don't know why you call them, covers, uh, screw covers. So these little buttons go on top of the screws to hide the screws. And all you do is basically just press them on top of the screws and that's it. So I'm going to do that next and then put the shelves on and then we'll be done. So there we go. A little plastic there to rip off. There's our shelf. Last but not least, these little things. Okay, and there's our finished product. A full shelving unit, bookcase, whatever you want to call it, display unit, storage unit, it's up to you. Um, that's how you completely assemble that unit. Thank you very much. Uh, things to caution you on, I'll caution you on a few things. When driving these screws in, make sure you put them directly upright, perpendicular to this, so that you don't come at an angle. Because if you come at an angle, you'll come through the wood, and then it'll show on the on the inside. Um, okay, these little buttons 
If you don't screw the screw all the way down, the button won't go all the way down. So if you see that it's raised up a little bit, just screw the screw down a little further. All right? And just twist them and push them like that. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. And here one more time. The finished product.